Welcome back to Who Chose. So the first steps into NFT hydroponics can be quite daunting. And to make it more manageable, I'm going to try in this video to break those steps down into hurdles that you can achieve over the period of a few weeks. So let's start at the beginning. Seed raising. It's really easy to get overwhelmed by the sheer amount of information there is about seed raising in general. However, all you need to remember is that all the seed raising mediums are trying to achieve is good drainage and good moisture containage. So if it contains moisture but allows excess water to drain, you've got yourself a decent seed raising medium, at least up until the point where the seed has exhausted its natural nutrients. So depending on your budget, seed raising can be achieved with as little as a moist paper towel and a Ziploc bag, or in as complex a medium as rock wool. Now I'm still settling on a propagation method that I prefer. So I'll include a link to a video in the future that I do on seed propagation techniques where I'll fall on my favorite techniques depending on budget. So for the next few steps, you'll need to have settled on a hydroponic nutrient. So the world of hydroponic nutrients can be fairly confronting. So just remember, probably the best place to get your hydroponic nutrient to start with is going to be your major hardware stores. They all generally have their own brand of dry hydroponic nutrient. Now, I recommend a dry nutrient because NFT reservoirs tend to have larger capacities. So if you're going to be making upwards of 100, 200, 400 liters of hydroponic nutrient, the most budget-friendly option is almost definitely going to be a dry granular nutrient. These nutrients are complete nutrients, so they come with all essential minerals that the plants need from base trace elements up to bulk calcium to move from seedlings all the way through to mature plants. Now, once the plants start fruiting, you may then need to add in extra nutrients that are depleted within the system as you identify nutrient deficiencies. But that's later on down the track. You don't need to worry about it until you get the plants into the system. So the next step is to build our seedling propagation system. The seedling propagation system is used to take the seedlings from your propagation method into a system that will extend the roots of the seedlings in a deep water culture so that they're long enough to travel down the channel of the NFT system. Now, once your seedlings are in your seedling propagator, you've got a fairly wide margin of error to build your NFT system. They can last in there for a very long time. So the next logical step is building the system. The beauty of NFT hydroponics is that it's extremely scalable. You can have a system that's five plants long or 20 plants long. All you have to do is scale the system to the space that you've got available. And this system can be run indoors, outdoors, in a greenhouse, in a shade house, anywhere you like. If you've got the space, you can make the system. So there are multiple ways to hold your plants in a hydroponic system such as this. You can use net cups. I've seen people use seed raising trays and pool noodles as well. My method involves using foam pucks to hold the seedlings in place at which point the seedlings will grow roots that hold 
the bulk of the larger plants in the NFT rail and the pox just provide support for the plants to stay upright. So you've built your NFT hydroponic system. It's time to plant the seedlings. In this video, I'll show you how to do that. So you've planted your seedlings, your NFT system is up and running. How do you change a reservoir? I've got a video on that too. So in all these videos, I've tried to break down in the simplest way possible, how you can move from no NFT system to NFT system in the space of about a month or two. I hope it's helped you break down the process in your head so that you can logically move from no production to full production of whatever you want to grow in your NFT system. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time on Who Chose.